Welcome back to Broken Monkey Gamers. My name is Grim, and today, as you can see, we are playing Blood Bowl 2. Before I get started, once again, I'm going to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you like the videos. Hit the bell icon for notifications of other videos, because I'm putting out videos every day. And, hell, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Let's get started. And here we go, Magnus Gardens. This is a away game for us. Oh, the undead, the livid requiem. There's a mummy, some ghouls, a uh, star player. I don't know what that guy's doing. Some whites. Let's see, ghouls, ghouls, zombies. I think there was two mummies in there. And there's that star player, Ali Babad. And there's the Darkwood Berserkers, our team, our boys, our chaos brethren, the Beastmen all with the mighty Minotaur, whose name I can never remember. Bill Kick or something like that, I don't know. Anyhow, here's the, to uh, the coin toss. I never can say that right. And there it is. Looks like... Uh, the dead have won the coin toss, and we'll be kicking off to them. Let's take a look, see. Here we go, here we go. And the kick. Pretty decent kick. Oh, cheering fans. We got an extra reroll. That's outstanding. By the way, guys, it is a blizzard for some strange reason. So the weather's a little unusual. Uh, it... It's snow, so things are going to be a little tough. Uh, yeah, rolling on a one or two for that going for it, so it's a little bit slippery out there. Here's the uh, the first mummy. What's his name? Oh, I don't know. Tefnaka, the usurper, something like that. Zombie's got a really strange walk. All right, people are running around. Look at this backfield action. The ball is still up up for grabs. Oh, that's a smack. Wait a minute. I think that guy's got a knife. That dirty... Let's see. Oh, yeah, he does have a knife. He's been hiding a knife on him? Oh, that's not right. That's a, that's a secret weapon. That's dirty. That's a dirty pool. Dirty blood bowl. Wish I'd thought of it. Oh. All right. Let's take a look now at what the, uh, the berserkers are doing. We got someone running downfield going after that ball carrier. Oh, Bracog, he's going to throw a little smack down on that star player. Oh, and knocked him out. Ali Babad is down. Well, he's out of the game. The refs aren't letting him back in with that knife. Here we go against that big mummy. And the usurper looks like he's going down. Ooh, that was one hell of a fall there, guys. Let's see what else we got going. Oh, we got another gentleman. He's getting ready to pound somebody. These uh, undead are not very agile, except for the ghouls. The ghouls, those guys are pretty quick. And they're the only real threats we have here. Lon Magors, he's our, he's our basically our quarterback, guys. We got a few other people to be taking a look at. And down he's going. We got some guys that are going to be heading for that ball carrier. That's uh, Dirt Beetle out there who has the ball. All right. Let's take a look-see. They're going to probably try to build a cage around that ball handler. That's most common Blood Bowl tactic is to do something like that, getting their guys up, getting ready to hit people. Oh, and here comes the Blitz. They're going to try to get at least one of those uh, Beastmen away. Fregoras is going to go down. Yeah, that was Ulrich the... What was his name? Ulrich the he Hero or something? I don't even know. What's his name? Ulrich the Hero. He doesn't look very heroic. He looks kind of dead. You know, it doesn't look too great. Who still has that ball? It's still Dirt Beetle. Dirt Beetle is a uh, experienced player with both dodge and block. Let's see what we got. Guy's getting up. Let's see. Our safety back there, Mallow Tail. We're moving around to keep keep uh, 
sort of parallel. Lon McGors is keeping parallel to that ball handler. And he's going for it. Ooh, and Bricog is going to take this guy down. You'd think that Minotaur would have a little bit more juice in him, but, oh, we stunned him at least. That's not so bad. Let's see. Pushing, let's pushing. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we're going to try to get this guy out of the game, but it looks like he's going to go down instead. Oh, and he's knocked out. Ivan the Unjust is knocked unconscious. I'm not sure how you knock a, the undead unconscious, but, you know, that seems to have worked that way. And here comes the Blitz. Slight push, but that's all we needed. And it's now the next turn. Little Blitz action going on here. They're going to try to free up that ball handler. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Another hit to push him out of the way. And down he goes. Looks like their Dirt Beetle, he's running for the end zone. He's get, Or he's getting close. I'm not sure why he went over there, but... They're going to keep moving that cage up, sports fans. And they're going to keep moving these guys around so they can get over there to protect that ball handler. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot of them. We still got a lot of snow coming down. Uh, the mummies over there is going to hit one of those guys, just pushing him. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Well, it looks like beastmen are going to be uh, heading over to the left flank, moving along to try to get rid of that uh, ball handler. Once again, moving over to that left side to try to take advantage of any, uh... Oh, that's a smack. A little bit of a push. And down he goes. So that's leaving him up. Who was that? Don't even know. Who was that? That was a Minagor. We still have, uh, Spragors downfield. And the big boy, Brakog. Looks like they're both going to go down. Oh, but the Usurper is knocked unconscious. So that might have been worth it, even though that was a turnover. Let's see what we got here. Things are moving around. It's anybody's game. The snow is still falling, guys. It's one hell of a blizzard we got coming out here. Doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. Let's switch to see what's going on. A little bit of a push action here. Okay, this is going to... Oh, down he goes. That was a hell of a hit. That was Krasgor. And our ball... And the ball handler is... Oh, he is halfway to the end zone, everybody. Dirt Beetle is making his way. He might score. This will be the first time that uh, an opposing team from the Berserkers has actually scored a touchdown if they can get that ball down there. And they are moving. Let's see what happens. Well, we do have some free players. Berserkers have a few free players. And they're going to see about getting up. Oh, and the blitz is already happening. Can we do this? No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Both, both uh, players are seasoned. Minotaur gets up. Rakog is ready for action. Didn't go wild. Though he probably is a little bit angry. A little bit more action over here. Oh, that's going to be a nice hit. Herc the somebody or other. Still got his helmet. Who is that? Herc the Revived. That's funny. And we've got a nice little cage around there. Ball handler. Let's see. Some of their guys are getting up. There's going to be a little bit of a Blix action here. That's, oh, she's going to have to re-roll that. Oh, that's a nice hit. That is going to be a nice hit. Down he goes. Oh, he's stunned. Lomagor is stunned. What do we got over here? Oh, Shigors is knocked out. Oh, man. That is a casualty. Let's see what else we got. Another hit over here. That was Malotail. He goes down. Let's see what else we got. These guys are not very... Oh, they decided not to do anything with their ball handler. 
Looks like Lagores is trying to hit Dirt Beetle. This is going to be tough. Trophy Tail's hitting Dirt Beetle. And all they're doing is pushing him around. Guys are getting up. Let's see who else we got. They're getting close. You know what's happening next. Rakog is going for it. He's going to get that little dude. Oh, he just pushed him. But he's got frenzy. He's going to hit him again. Oh, he's going to go down. Dirt Beetle is going down. Oh, and he, Dirt Beetle is knocked out. He's going to be out for a little while. Where'd the ball go? Where is that ball going to bounce? Oh, right into the hands of Grave Flayer. And, of course, Managor picks it up and dodges out of the way. He's moving down. Uh, he's looking maybe to throw downfield, but there's too much of a blizzard. He can't get that pass. So now it looks like the Berserkers have the ball. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, Blitz action right here. Little Blitz pushes him. That's okay, because he's still got the ball. All we got to do is move some of these guys around. A little bit more. Down he goes. Yeah, Fregoras goes down. Marcus the Vanguard. We got another attack. Herc, Herc Spleen from going after Malotail just pushes him down. Herc the Revived again, huh? And he's an active player. Oh, they're going after the big boy, it seems. Yeah, Grave Flare pushes the Minotaur. That's pretty, pretty brave. Another push over there by Girth the Fairy Master and... Mui Mans, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Let's see what we got here. We got some player action moving around, so the players are getting there. They're going to go downfield just a little bit. What do we have? We got Brakog is going for a blitz action against that little bitty uh, carnivore, carnivore or something? What is that? He goes down. Stunned, maybe? Stunned. Carnivore Ripper? Wow. Looks like uh, the pass is out to Minagor as he makes that pass. And downfield, and it's a touchdown. Touchdown by Sprygor. He's also a seasoned player. That was quick, a quick pass, and there it is, guys. The first touchdown of the game goes to Berserkers. We'll see what else we got going. Ooh, half the knocked out guys from the undead get up. Our uh, Berserker none is knocked out gets up. What else we got? We're getting ready for the kickoff. Oh, Ali Babad is out. They saw that knife he had on him, and he's thrown out of the game. Team set up. They've only got the one uh, mummy out there right now. And the kick. Once again, the Berserkers kick that ball. It goes deep. And there's a riot. A fans riot on the field. They're going to lose a turn there. So we're almost done. They've got one. That's a slow mummy. Oh, there's both mummies are out on the field. I hadn't noticed that at first. Surprising to see a mummy in the backfield. Livid's got the ball. They're going to head down to the line of scrimmage there. Let's take a look-see. There's not going to be enough time for them to score before halftime. Oh, Shy Gores is injured. That is not good. Now he's only hurt a little bit. He's just out of the game. What do we got here? Oh, that's not good. Down goes Brakog. He just did not have it in him for this. Must be too cold. That's a turnover. He goes down. And that's the halftime, guys. All right, halftime. One nothing or zero one. Livid Requiem is is down by a run here, down by one touchdown, one point. They've got one person kicked out of the game. Their star player is gone. They still have one knocked out. The Berserkers have one injured, but they do have backups. All righty. So they're setting up, getting ready for the kick. All right, everyone's out, everyone's ready. And here's the kick. Pretty decent kick. Brilliant coaching, both teams. And the ball goes right into Lamagor's hands, and he catches it. That was a beautiful catch. 
And it looks like Brakor is getting ready to hurt people. Let's take a closer look. And both he and the mummy go down. But the mummy's stunned. That was the Ramses the, the Ancient. And that's the turnover. Not good, guys. Not good. It's always, uh, you know, iffy when it comes to those uh, Minotaurs. You never know when they're just going to not cooperate. Let's see. Ooh, Ulrich the hero just knocked down, just stunned Sprygor. That's going to leave that entire side wide open for a rush. Looks like uh, the uh, Berserkers have... Oh, Gerhurt the Ferryman is knocked out. That was a hellacious hit. That was really a good hit. Let's see what else is going on. So we got some uh, of the Berserkers heading downfield. What else do we got? Look at this. A little bit of push action going on. That's okay. Record gets up and goes right after the Usurper again. Right after that, uh, that mummy. And down the mummy goes. What's going to happen here? Well, not much. He just goes down to the ground. Oh, he's stunned. What else we got? Let's take a look. See? A little bit more action. We got both mummies on the ground. This zombie is, is hitting the ground. He'll be on the gr He's not stunned, though. He'll be getting up in just a minute. Lon Magors has got the ball, and he's headed towards the line of scrimmage. We got a little bit more movement, but it does look like it's going to be Livid's turn. They're going to be moving their forces around. They don't like that guy in the backfield, so they're going to do something about that. They'll put some players up to prevent him from catching any passes, although right now with that blizzard, it's not going to be easy. Not going to be easy. Not going to be any long passes because of the visibility. And there's a blitz. Looks like Rhino Gorse is going down. And that was Ulrich the hero again. That little goblin, or that little, that's not a goblin, that's a, a, a ghoul. Ghoul flare or whatever it is, carnivore ripper. He's moving, everyone's moving around, they're pushing it. Lon McGor still has the ball, and he's looking for an opening. Ooh, down goes Mallowtail. All right, so we've got we've got berserkers heading downfield. People are getting up. Ooh, that was Choby Chael. Stuns Marcus the Vanguard. We've got this guy moving up, and here comes the big. Oh no, Bracor Bracog there just went berserk. And who's this guy out there? Rhino Gores. He is downfield. And here comes Lon McGore. He's just too far away from the throw. They're going to try to get him. They're, they're definitely going to go after him. Oh, it looks like uh, Gravel Flare is going to make the blitz. Oh, it doesn't look good for Lon McGore. He goes down and he's stunned. The ball lands right into that ghoul's hands. There's some more dodging by some more ghouls. They're adjusting. And here comes the big mummy. Ramsey's the ancient. Crab Wars goes down. All right, everybody. Let's see what's going on. Uh, what happens. A little bit push action. Spragor's going to get pushed by Herc the Revived. Ulrich the hero is going to hit. Oh, he fails. He gets knocked down. That's going to be a turnover. Let's see what's going on. We've got... Minagor is headed down there to go after the ball handler. It does look like... Oh, Ivan the Unjust is knocked unconscious by Fregors. That's the second time one of those guys has been knocked unconscious by the sidelines. Marcus the Vanguard is going to be hit, but he's got the dodge ability and he's just going to be pushed back. What else do we got? Who's moving? Who's moving? We got someone downfield who's just going to come in and help. That's uh, Rhino Gores. And here comes Mallowtail going to hit Gravel Flare. Oh, he just moved up there. He didn't hit him. But it's going to be Brakog that hits that mummy. 
And he's going to hit him again. And it looks like the Usurper is going down. Oh, he's stunned. Not a lot of action going on on the left side, guys. But it does appear to be the dead's turn. Livid Requiem is, is going to be smacking some people around. Let's take a look, see. That's just a little bit of push between Marcus the Vanguard and Toey Tail. Mallow Tail's getting hit by Stone Grinder. And Mallow Tail is hurt. Oh, down he goes. But oh, that was tough. But it was a turnover. Both got both players went down. So what do we got here? What do we got? It looks like all like I said, all the action is still gonna be over on this side, the right side of the field. Got here it looks like uh, Toby Tail hits Marcus the Vanguard and knocks him down, and it looks like Wild Animal again. Bracog just doesn't seem to be happy right now. He's very upset, and they're going to be once again putting these uh, their players around this guy making a cage. Other players are going to come up. It looks like uh, Frag Gores is, is going out. Besides Fragor, we got Mui Main. And here we go. The mummy's getting up. Zombies are getting up. Ghouls are getting ready. The Blitz comes from the white. Who's it going to be? Ulrich the Hero against Minagors. And it looks like Minagors is going to hit the ground. But he is not stunned. He'll be getting up post haze oh look at that stunned more action over on here on the right side just a, a little bit of push action not much is going down Ooh. Ooh, someone's got guard over I, I wish I had that skill that would help oh we got a ghoul he's gonna oh he's really grab a flare He's got the ball and he just hit Rhino Gores and knocked him flat. Got some guys getting up. What else we got going on? A little dodge action from the ghouls. The ghouls are tough, guys. The ghouls are tough. We got a blitz for Gores against Stone Grinder. Stone Grinder does have that ball. Oh, Stone Grinder's going down. It is exciting. And the ball's going to go flying. There's the ball. Who's getting up for it? Well, you know who's getting up for it. Rhino Gores. He's, gonna, he's not even going to get the ball. He's just going to position himself. That looked a lot like Lon Magors. Lon Magors takes the fall, though. He hits the ground hard. We're going to have to reroll that. And he's got the ball. But he's not in a good spot. He is not in a good spot, guys. All right, let's see what the uh, the dead are going to do. They're moving their players around. They're going to try to come after the ball handler. They should have no difficulty doing it. Uh-oh, and here we go. A little push to Lon Magors. That was not what they wanted to see. Oh, and the blitz. That's what they wanted to see. That is what they wanted to see. And Lon Magors goes down. He loses the ball. Where is it going to end up? Lon... It, it ends up right to that uh, Ulrich the Hero's hands. Ulrich the Hero, he fumbled it, but he managed to get a hold of it. Oh, look at that. The mummy. Ramses the Ancient takes down Lon Gors. We got another mummy in the backfield over here. Looks like he might be doing something pretty soon. All right, Krasgors is stunned. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Some guys are getting up. All right, the ball has been switching sides left and right here for quite a while, guys. Quite a while. Doesn't look good for uh, the undead team here. Oh, the mummy is going to take a hit from old Brick Hog, and the mummy's going down. That, I believe, is Ramses, and Ramses is... Oh, no, it's not. It's Tefnakok the Usurper, or whatever the hell his name is. He is hurt. But he does have regeneration, so he just heals. The undead have that ability to heal. Because they're not really alive. They have a necromancer back over there. And he'll just keep them active. The ball handler does go down. The ball will go flying. 
And there it is. Rhino Gores goes for it. And he drops the ball. Oh, it's a reroll attempt, but he still drops the ball. That's just plain wrong. The ball's going to sit there for a minute or so. It is a turnover. This blizzard is still going on, guys. This entire game has been nothing but an entire blizzard. And we're getting close to the end. Little Blix action. Oh, and down he goes, man. Ramsey the Ancient just really laid out Lagores. Not much left going on over here. They're going to, once again... Oh, Spragors is going to go down. Herc the Revived. That's another one laid out. They're just laying them out over like Cordwood over there. Let's take a look at what's happened in this action. A little bit of a hit. And Fragors is knocked unconscious. Knocked unconscious. What else do we got? Is someone going to go after that ball? I don't know. We'll see. There might be a dodge. Nope. It's an attack. It's a hit. Pushes uh, Rhino Gores out of the way as Carnivore Ripper. And what do we got? A little more push action. Troy Tail. It does look like their turn is over, and it's coming up to the whistle pretty soon. There's not much left. The big boy, Brakog, hits Carnivore Ripper, and he's going to hit him hard. Put his full weight behind him, and down he goes. Looks like he probably... Nope, he just laid him out there. A little more in the way of a hit. Oh, look at that. Another ghoul goes down. Rhino Gores hits Grave Flayer. Now all they got to do is pick it up all. Oh, and they couldn't get it. Lon Magor couldn't pick it up, and that's the end of the turn for the, the Berserkers. There's only a few seconds left, everybody. Let's take a look and see what's going on. I don't know where that mummy's going. These guys are just kind of walking around. They're going to head for that ball, but there's not going to be enough time for them to get it. Let's see what else we got. More, more of their players are just kind of wandering around, shambling around. You know how undead do that. They shamble aimlessly. Not really sure what's going on there. Oh, here we go. Marcus the Vanguard is going to hit Troy Tail. Knocks him down. I don't see a whole lot. Some of these guys are getting up. It does look like... Uh, all right, that was the game, guys. Looks like, once again, the Darkwood Berserkers have become victorious with a 1-0 victory over the undead. The something wreck Grim, I don't even know who they were. Some Requiem, Dark, Dank, I don't know. Doesn't matter. We won. Okay, guys, that's the end of the episode. Remember, we're the Broken Monkey Gamers. I'm Grim. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the videos, hit the like button. If you want to be notified of their future videos, because I'm making videos every day hit that bell icon to be notified and hey leave a comment until then enjoy the videos and we will see you later